the U.S. Fed rate decision. Equity markets was a clear winner, but and that should be no-brainer. But who are the other major winners and losers? With the U.S. entering a tightening cycle, countries that are adopting loose monetary policies like Japan, the European Union, stand to gain. Next up, long-term treasuries and corporate bonds will benefit thanks to rising yields. So those are the winners. Who stands to lose? Currencies in Brazil and China will come under pressure. This, in turn, will hurt the economies in both countries that are already struggling. The U.S. federal budget will get stretched by $2.9 trillion in interest over the next 10 years, and that's according to one estimate. Car makers stand to lose with one survey expecting demand to get hit by 1%. Now let's talk about India. What's going to be the impact in India? Hear it yourself from some of the top government officials and market watchers. जो 25 बेसिस पॉइंट्स जो बढ़ोतरी हुई है वो तो सब लोगों ने उसके लिए तैयारी कर ही ली थी पर साथ साथ जो फेड चेयरमैन मैडम ने जो पूरे साल की जो बारे में उन्होंने जो बयान दिया और जो ग्रेजुअलिस्ट और दविश अप्रोच के बारे में जो उन्होंने कहा है वो मुझे लगता है हम सब लोगों को बहुत स्टेबिलिटी दे रहा है और हम सब लोगों को समय दे रहा है जिसमें कि हम लोग इसकी तैयारी करें और हमारे फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व्स भी काफ़ी समय 350 बिलियन डॉलर से आगे बढ़ चुके हैं तो इसलिए सब जो इंडिकेटर्स होने चाहिए वो इंडिकेटर्स सब इस समय कंट्रोल में हैं दिस रेट हाइक वॉज वाइडली एंटिसिपेटेड सो आई थिंक दैट so my market should have priced this in and therefore i don't think there should be much of an impact on of this per se as far as india is concerned look we're uh, really well cushioned on the you know macroeconomic side so you know inflation is coming down our uh, uh, fiscal deficit situation is very good our external situation is also robust so i think that uh, for all these reasons i i think the impact on india should be relatively minimal after uh, hikes, uh, you have periods which are extremely positive and extremely supportive, yet again, for emerging markets. Mm -hmm. uh, another reason why it could be a very positive period for, for emerging markets is, of course, the valuation levels. First quarter percent hike suddenly making people move from emerging markets to developed markets as if we did not know that the U.S. economy was doing at least this well. Not, they are not saying it's doing very well. They are doing it's okay, which broadly the whole world knew. And the U.S. market anyway has been doing very well and deserves to do well. But I don't think this makes people move from emerging to uh, developed markets. If we get an environment in which the RBI begins to cut interest rates, maybe some point in the second quarter, uh, you get a more fiscally effective government uh, as these projects start to get executed. Uh, then India should perform very well. And I'd be very comfortable with India giving a 15% plus return uh, over 2016. Top government officials and influential market voices there breaking down the US Fed rate decision.